This is the teaching video for Math 4.4. Uh, learning target is to multiply mixed numbers. With uh, 4.3, you just did multiplying fractions. Now we're multiplying fractions, but we have a mixed number. The only thing you have to be able to do is take a mixed number to an improper fraction. So then you have fraction times a fraction, and it's just like what you were doing in 4.3. Okay, so let's review how to make a mixed fraction into an improper fraction. Now, the reason why this is mixed is because you have both a whole number and a fraction. You have two different things that come together. So two and a half is a whole and a fraction. It's mixed. Okay, two different things put together, mixed. Now, I want to get this into just a fraction. Now, it's going to be an improper fraction, and the way you do that is you do that two times, you do those times each other plus whatever you have on top. Denominator, denominator times the whole number plus the numerator, okay? Denominator times the whole plus the numerator. 2 times 2 is 4. So you have the denominator times your whole number plus your numerator is 1. 2 times 2 is 4 plus 1, and that equals 5. So that gets me 5, and as I'm going this way, I do kind of this motion, and my 5, my five goes on top, and I keep the same denominator. Okay? So... 2 and 1 half is equal to 5 halves. Now I have this mixed number put back into an improper fraction. If I ever have an improper fraction, I can put it into a mixed number by dividing. Okay, 5 divided by 2. How many times does 2 go into 5? Two times. Two times two is four. Subtract that out, I get one. So then I have one. This is my denominator. Two and a half. Okay? So it goes both ways. Equals two and a half. So that's how you get a mixed number into a fraction. Two times two plus one equals five over, over two. Now I have. Oopsie. Ooh, my change. Okay, now I have two thirds times five halves. Okay. Um, I'm looking at this and I I see a cross simplifying. This two and this two. I know that two goes into both of those. Two divided by two, two divided by two, equals one, equals one. So now I have one third times. 5 over 1. Okay? Now I just multiply across. 1 times 5 is 5. 3 times 1 is 3. 5 over 3. Mixed number. So I ask myself, I can either do the division. I'm going to do this two ways. 5 thirds. I want to get that into a back into a mixed. Okay? Because improper, I don't like to end with an improper. So now i got to get it back into a, a mixed. I could say, how many times does 3 go into 5? One time. And then there's 2 left. So my improper is 1 and 2 thirds. The other way I could do it is do the divide, division. 5, my numerator, divided by my denominator. 3 goes into 5 one time. Minus 2. Can't get anything more out of there. So I have this remainder of 2 but that becomes my numerator. So 1 and 2, and I use this as my denominator, 1 and 2 thirds. Okay? So either way. So 2 thirds times 2 and a half equals 1 and 2 thirds. Whew, that's a lot of mess on the board. Key is, is to take it from a mixed to an improper. Once you get it to an improper, simplify it. Multiply across, and then if you need to, take it back into a mixed.
not too bad, I hope. Again, the key is, is knowing your multiplication facts. And if you don't know those, you need to work on those, or you need to make sure you have a, uh, uh, maybe a multiplication chart with you um, so that you can look. You don't want to make a mistake with multiplication. But as you get into higher levels of math, you need to just know that, uh, know those facts. Okay, here I have a mixed times a mixed, and these are large numbers. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to convert both of these to improper fractions and then multiply across. Now, because they're so big, I wanted to do a big one for you to see. Now you know the system. You can do any number you want. Okay. So let's do this one first. 2 times 15 is 30 plus 1 is 31. 31 half. Okay. So this is the same. This is the mixed, part, mixed number. This is the improper fraction form. So these are in two different forms but the exact same amount. Okay. Let's do this one. 9 times 4, 36, 37, 38, 39. Okay, so I have 39 and then 4. Okay, so this is the mixed form. This is the improper form. This improper form is easy to multiply across. Okay, so I'm going to do it. 31 times 39. Well, let me just check to see. 31 and 4, those can't be simplified. Um, 39 and 2, those can't be simplified. These can't be simplified. These can't be simplified. Okay, so I just have to go across. 31 times 39, I can't do that in my head. That's not just a simple math fact. So I come over here. 31 times 39. 1 times 9 is 9. 27. Add my 0. 3, 9. I get 9. 9, 10, 11, 12. Okay, that's 1,209. Over 2 times 4, I could do that. 8. Okay, so... Um, my answer, which is not my final answer, but it's a answer, 1,209 over 8. This point, instead of asking how many 8's go into here, I'm going to divide this out. This line means divided by. So if I say it in my head, 1,209 divided by this line here, 8. And I'm going to see how many I get to make this into an improper fraction. 8 does not go into 1, but 8 goes into 12 um, one time. 1 times 8. Subtract that out, I get 4. Okay. Now I go to my next. Bring down my 0. How many times does 8 go into 40? 5 times. 5 times 8 is 40. Subtract it out, I get 0. Okay, I've done all of it. Now I bring down my 9. How many times does 8 go into 9? One time. 1 times 8 is 8. Leaves me with 1. There's no other numbers to bring down, so I have my remainder. But it's not just a remainder, it's the numerator. And here's my denominator. So I bring this up, 1, and I bring this over here, 8. Okay? So this is going to be... 151 holes and a little bit, a fraction of a number. 151 and 1 8. So if I'm timesing or multiplying, if I'm multiplying 15 and a half times 9 and 3 fourths, my answer is 151 and 1 8. I just can't do this like this. Okay? I just can't go across like that. I have to convert it to. Mixed or improper. I have to take it to improper, take it to improper, then I can go across. Once I do that, then I do the division, and then I'm able to have my answer that answers this question. Okay? A lot of work, especially with the big numbers. 
with the smaller numbers, it's not so bad. But with big numbers, you got to do some uh, little extra work. Okay. All right. If you have any questions, come see me. Hopefully, uh, you are ready to multiply mixed numbers. Go ahead and go on to the guided practice.